we're at Waterfall Station today, and uh, southwards from here, there were seven tunnels built. So we're going to the Hacking River Trail. I've been here before, so. Seriously, dude? What? What's that blue thing that covers the camera? It's the mouthpiece of my camelback, just got in front of the camera a bit. And how am I supposed to make a decent video out of that? Can't you just edit it out or put some Benny Hill music to it or something? Are you kidding? Most every shot is ruined with this stuff. Don't you know how to take videos? It was a mistake. I didn't know. I'm just going to have to go out there and do it again. And if you don't do it right this time, I'll have to get someone else to do it. Really? That's a big ride. Not my problem. Get out there and this time, bring some better footage. Ah, okay. I'll go down and do it again. And take someone who knows what they're doing. We're at Waterfall Station again. Being sent down here to do this video again. And Matt's decided to come along on another Focus Jam Squared. So today we're going to do six tunnels. Uh, there's between here and Waterfall, there are actually, there were seven tunnels. And the one about a kilometre down the track has been, uh, had the top taken off and it's now just a cutting. So, uh, so we're going to explore down the various tunnels and see what we can find. So it's a really foggy morning here this morning and we're on the track between Waterfall and Corley Road. And last night we had a big storm so there's a, these big puddles here everywhere. So this is the top of the, um, the first tunnel at Waterfall. It's now cutting, they top, chop the top out of it, so you can see how deep that is. And I'm not getting much closer to the edge here. So. So we're standing up on the top of a, a cutting here, and you can see down here there's the railway line. This is one of the uh, railway loops that took out the original alignment. Just over here was the old town of Corley, and that was built in about 1882. Had about a thousand, a thousand people lived there, uh, mostly railway workers with their kids. And then when the railway was built, they then moved moved on down further down south, uh, down to the south coast, and Corley disappeared into the bush. And there's, you go there now, there's not much there at all. But the original uh, alignment went straight through there and it was about a 1 in 40 gradient and the new line you can see here is actually uh, 1 in 75 and there's now I think five loops that follow the contour around and we are going down to tunnel number two which is the Corley Tunnel we'll see you down there so this is the Corley Tunnel tunnel number two and this was built in around about 1882 uh -huh. uh, and there's a bit of a slope down, no railway line there now of course. Um, and we're going to go down and have a look through it and enjoy the orange mud that's at the, the portal. It's pretty overgrown now too. Lovely orange mud.
<laughs> so, uh, I'll so, wait for you to clear so I can try to get it right. I just, I, I just walk up on the side. It's pretty boggy here. Yeah. Okay. So, but feel free to ride through if you want. I oh, did I mention the bike's going to get dirty? <laughs> That's it. So this is Cawley Tunnel. It's 383 metres long and it was built around about 1884. Uh, and just behind us up here, probably about a kilometre uh, to the north here, was the town of Cawley. That's where we sort of overlooked before. And this tunnel was closed in about 1915. Uh, and then in the 1950s, a company called Marsh Lawson made, uh, turned this into a mushroom farm. And so right here at the entrance, there was a big blower. And up in the ceiling, they had uh, like plastic tube to blow air through the place. And that continued in operation up until about uh, the year 2000. So nice, dark, damp tunnel for growing mushrooms. So let's keep going. So this here, there's the old cutting there, the tunnel is through there, and this old concrete slab here was where the mushroom packing was. Up until, well the buildings are still here about 10 years ago, about up until about 2011, and they were demolished, and now it's become a skate park. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Helensburg, it's Helensburg Tunnel, it's tunnel number two. Um, this is about 80 metres long and this is uh, the one that, very short tunnel that came through on the way to the Metropolitan Tunnel which we'll go to next. But this area here used to be a packing shed for the other mushroom farm country, uh, company that operated in town. So that's tunnel number two. Can't get in there unfortunately. But uh, you can see the, uh, the bricks are still in pretty good nick up there. This is tunnel number three. It's called the Metropolitan Tunnel. And the Metropolitan Tunnel is 625 metres long. And because it slopes downhill, uh, it used to fill up with water. Actually not when it was open. So this, this railway line actually goes straight through, it used to go through the Metropolitan Coal Mine and they'd pick up coal there on the way through and it sloped down. Uh, the tunnel was closed in about 1915 and they blocked the end of the tunnel uh, so it would fill with water and the mine would use that as a reservoir for damping down all the coal dust and things. They, it was sort of underwater for years and they thought there was actually a train submerged in there but when they actually drained it, um, there wasn't a train there. In the 1950s, there's a couple called Bill and Jean Anderson and they started a mushroom farm here. And the mushroom farm had the packing shed behind us, it was just over in the other tunnel. And uh, they, they operated for about 20 years and went out of business in about 1970. So you used to be able to walk down through there, but um, there's a there's a largest colony of glowworms in there, in New South Wales, and I think there was they were getting disturbed by the number of visitors coming in there, so they've locked the gates these days, 
as you see, it's no trespassing when the gate is locked. Occasionally the gate is open, but not today, unfortunately, otherwise we'd take it down there. So this is the entrance to the Metropolitan Coal Mine, owned by Peabody, an American company. Um, and people don't know, but this actually is a feature that dominates Helensburg. Um, <coughs> and it's, uh, it's actually hidden away. You, you, if you're driving past, you wouldn't know it's there. But there's a spur off the main southern line where trains go and pick up coal and take it down to Port Kembla or, or up north. So where we're going is uh, we're going to the Lilyvale Tunnels, uh, just behind the coal mine here. So that metropolitan tunnel we just visited, uh, that used to go right through the mine, and now the railway line skirts around the other side, but uh, went through the mine and then connected with these two tunnels at Lilyvale that we're about to have a look at. So we'll see you down there. Camp Creek Fire Trail. Okay, let's go. So we're going through Lilyvale Tunnel number one. This is about 80 metres long and it used to be the one that came out, the first tunnel uh, as they left the Metropolitan Coal Mine. So in the 1950s they used this, uh, well they actually opened up a, a mushroom farm here, Marsh and Wilson. Very boggy. So this is the old rail path and we're sort of heading east at the moment. And we just go around the corner here in a sec. Back in the 1880s it would have been amazing. So this is uh, Lilyvale tunnel number two. It's actually in tunnel number six. Uh, in the series of tunnels on the southern line. Oh dear. Right into the mud. Wow. Through nice and easy. Last one curves. So this is Lilyvale Tunnel number two. It's number six in the the series, and this comes out to what was the old Lilyvale rail, railway station. It's now closed. So we'll come out there and you'll see the platform. So this tunnel is about 332 metres long. Wow. And it curves around, as you'll see. So if you go ahead, I will follow you. There will be some puddles in here too, but they're mostly with gravel, so there's no mud. And now arriving at the old Lilyvale station and it's not there now it's just a substation at the moment but this was the old station and I guess there was a little settlement here uh, and maybe there were some houses when the, um, the railway workers were here
That's the uh, train between Wollongong and Central, I believe. So, old tunnel, new tunnel. <sighs> Bit of a steep, gnarly hill there. It's quite slippery and steep, so I've got my new Maxxis Minion on there, brand new, and had plenty of grip. Or I think Matt's got an old Recon that's half worn, and it's. We had rain last night. It's quite muddy and slippery, so he's probably not getting a lot of grip at the moment. <laughs> the old Recon's not doing it for you, hey? Yeah, it's pretty pretty bald. Yeah. First time I've really noticed it. <laughs> well, that was pretty slippery though. Yeah, that's the way at least. I think we go this way, I think. So this track, basically off to our left is where the tunnels are. And straight ahead. So one tunnel is off to the left. And the other tunnel is straight ahead. And we are going to go across the tunnels, so the Lilyvale number two tunnels. So that's where this track is. That's where we've climbed up and we're trying to find our way across there. <coughs> so just going through a lot of spider webs here. So I'm doing my web clearing duties. Now the question is, is it that one or the next one? Yeah. Hold, hold on. This is for everyone watching. Here we go. So this is the Hacking River. Matt's crossing. We're going to see how he goes. Oh boy. See how happy it is. Keep going. Power on, man. Power on, power on. Power on, power on. Oh, <laughs> fully soaked. Oh, man. At least, you, at least your shoes are clean. Yeah, that's right. I should do the other one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, most of the way, I'm happy with that. <laughs> ah, that's good. So we're going through the Royal National Park here. So we're at Oxford here, and in the distance you can see the Seacliff Bridge. So we're at the last tunnel, this is Otford Tunnel. And this one here is the Big Mama. This is like uh, 1.6 kilometres long, and it's sort of got a curve at, the, at one, one end. So this particular one uh, came through to Bolgo, which is now Stamwell Park, and uh, basically when the steam trains would go through, the, uh, there was so much smoke in the, in the tunnel that people had to actually get down on the floor to uh, breathe some air. Um, and so halfway along, which we'll see in a minute, uh, there's actually a vent ventilation shaft that goes right up to the ground level 
I think it's about 100 metres long. Um, so we're going to ride through there and we'll come out the other side at Otford. And it's air conditioned. It's air conditioned, beautiful. It's, it's about 31 degrees today, uh, but in here there's this really nice cool breeze coming out. That's the other thing that, you, that happens when you've got a southerly, because that, that direction is southerly, the southerlies would come through here and blow all the smoke back on the train. And so, so double asphyxiation. So let's go. So this is the Otford Tunnel beginning, so it's about one and a half kilometres long. Nearly a mile actually, and it's a bit rough in places, it's like a coal mine in here. Yeah, I'll start seeing the other end now. Whoops, better wait for Matt. You alright? Yeah, one sec. See, see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to know which side to go on, really. Yeah, probably about a kilometre away. Pretty rough and chopped up. I don't know if you can see the surface there, but this was the original rail line and there's not much left of it now. It's probably eroded out over the last 105 years. It was closed down about 1915. This is the ventilation shaft halfway along the tunnel. That goes up about 100 metres. So this dig has been here for decades. It's pretty well rusted out now. Very famous digger if you're into Geocaching. This is where the dark side of the moon cache is hidden. So you can see it's a it's a bit of a backhoe. So this is a little niche where you'd hide if the train comes past. The end is nigh. Here we go. It's actually been a fairly easy ride up through here. 
a bit rough in parts, but not bad. No less technical than some of the trails we ride on, really. A couple of points like here, that's really cut away. <laughs> Let's just hope the gate is open, otherwise we are stuck. There's a bat, looks like a bat is flying over into the bat cave, or well, out of the bat cave actually. To the bat cave, Robin, and here is the end. Here we go. 1.55 kilometres. Into the into the lot. <laughs> 